hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel good morning good afternoon and good evening depends on the time you are watching me from how are you guys doing i hope everyone is doing great please if today is the first time of coming across my video on youtube or you have been watching you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please kindly subscribe by hitting the notification bell so that anytime i upload any new video you will be the first to be notified as i just uploaded a new video by doing so God bless you. Thanks to those who have subscribed already, those who have been sharing, that have been watching. I appreciate you guys so much. May the Lord bless you all for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Thanks for your support. Thanks for being there for me. The story you are about to watch now is about a man, a Nigerian man that based in India. Um, the, this Nigerian man that lives in india he he buy his own daughter his little he buy his own little almond that is not up to a year old so i will put the video here so for you guys to listen to what happened to him it's like uh, his village people has gone to visit him in in india you understand as i'm speaking with you now the man is behind bars and it pays me so much that he he lost his little omo and he's still in the uh, police uh, police uh, custody as i'm speaking with you now i pray that we will not see this type of uh, a temptation in the mighty name of jesus amen because this this one is called temptation his village people really dealt with him we don't really know what happened what went wrong because some people were saying the man have lost his uh, his number six why uh, he was even thinking the little amount that he was holding was a, a was a, a snake on his hand you understand so he never knew that it was his own hormone that he gave birth to so it's so so painful let me not watch um waste much of your time so let me just put the video please if there's anything i need to add i will come back and add it or we'll see in the com com um, comment section okay so let's all be prayerful that god should forgive us all our sins and God should just forgive us all our sin because we don't know what is really going on. How can a man, a, a man, this grandma, his old daughter, or by his old daughter, thinking that the omo was a, a, a snake on his hand, you understand? So he never knew that it was not a, a, a snake, it was his own omo, you understand? So I just pray that God should just take bad news away from us and take <laughs> This is Blagor exclusive. Welcome to news updates. On Monday, 15th of June, 2020, was a black day for all Nigerian community living in Greater Noida, UP. It breaks our heart to hear the sad news about a four-month-old baby girl that was murdered by her father early hours of Monday, 6 a.m. in the morning. According to our sources and eyewitness, we got to know that Mr. OZ, who murdered his child, was handed over to the Indian police where he made a confession at the court of law that he thought it was a snake that came to attack him that early hour in the morning. The speculation of this unfortunate event has resulted in a lot of rumors going around on social media. Why some people say that it was out of anger that led to the death of his child, whereas others say that he was bewitched by his village people. A member of Blagoro exclusive news update made a telephone interview with Mr. Charles, the president of Nigeria Citizen Welfare Association, also known as NEQA. Please listen to the brief preview of the recorded telephone call. Mr. Charles, yeah, yeah uh, this is Blagoro news update. We'll call you to confirm something from you, sir, concerning a Nigeria that killed the daughter of four months old. Please, can you tell us? Because we we'll try every effort to get the wife of the man in question online, but we couldn't. But seeing you on the scene shows that you can be able to give us full interest about the situation. Please, can you tell us what actually happened? Because we are working on putting it up to the viewer so that too many lies that is flying about the situation will stop. Okay. Uh, 
Mr. Jose Mahapaina has told the who got married from Nigeria and brought their wife over here in India. Okay. Um, they have been living together until uh, day before yesterday. Then, and on Thursday last week, strange okay. things started happening. Jose started talking out of senses and uh, the woman keep complaining. So they went to the pastor and uh, the pastor prayed. After that, they invited them back again in the whole church on Sunday. So Sunday, another deliverance was given to uh, Jose. And uh, during that time, Jose acted strange. And uh, even he went to the extent of removing his clothes, almost being naked in the only wearing boxers in the church. So after the deliverance, he got himself. He was happy. He went back home happily. The next day being Monday, by 6 a.m. he woke up. Uh, the child was crying and he wanted to read Bible, according to the wife. So the child was crying and uh, the wife wanted to go and get hold of the child. And uh, Ozen told him, allow me to take care of the child. So the child was still crying in Ozen and Ozen started shaking the child. Why are you making noise? Why are you disturbing? So the woman rushed to collect the child from Ozen. Do you want to kill my baby? How are you shaking him like this? So Ozen Ozed pushed the wife and they started hitting the child on the ground. So before the maintenance office, the securities there called the police. The police called me. So we went there. But the uh, funny aspect of this uh, thing is that we make sure that Ozed uh, received his punishment. But uh, in the process of going to the jail, he was crying. I asked him, why are you crying? He said he did not kill his, his daughter, that he was killing his neck. That what he killed is a snake, but it happens that he turns to be his daughter, who will wants to kill his daughter. And uh, that also is the person that loves the daughter more than anything. So for me, I'm thinking that there is something else more than this. And uh, according to stories, uh, three of his brothers, one is in, Ban uh, in Bangkok and one is in Philippines. The other one, I don't know where they exactly the, 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 the other one is. They said that that's them last week. All those three run mad and uh, that day was Ozed's own. So my brother, I cannot understand what really happened, but indeed, Ozed was having a serious problem. Okay, so what is the situation of Ozed now? Because uh, you talk of receiving punishment. What is the situation? Where is him now? Yeah, according to India IPCS code, that's India Panel Code, 302 is murder. Okay. And the murder case is something that you cannot play with Indians. At least there is no way you can, um, OZ will come out after five years. It's not possible. Okay, OZ is not in jail. He's in jail now. Okay. And um, it's not something that we can be praying for him to come out today and tomorrow because really, 302 in India is always something somebody has to be very careful. All right. Um, thank you so much, sir, for your information. Uh, a lot of uh, people have been saying uh, is a witchcraft, is a problem and everything, you understand? Some have said that uh, uh, if it's a witchcraft, so why, uh, if, it's, uh, if it's clean snake, that somebody that saw snake should run away from snake and save his life. So whatever the case may be, only God knows. Just wanted to confirm, the team wanted to confirm from you uh, that have taken the lead, uh, have been taking the lead of Nigerian citizen welfare here in uh, in Greater Noida, UP. I uh, wanted to confirm from you how far things have gone and uh, your efforts to ensure that uh, Ozet is brought to book. Thank you so much for giving us your time. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. We would like to extend our deepest condolence to the mother of the late baby during this trial period. I plead us all to involve her in your prayers for God to grant her the strength to bear this loss. Thank you all for listening and stay tuned for more Blago exclusive news updates.